Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off-Grid Ham Radio. A quick update for the Lab 599TX500 mic papa. First of all, before you do anything else, make sure you've watched the original video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And take a look at the blog post because uh, there's a lot of questions that we need to answer. And I've outlined them there in that blog post. If you have some questions yourself, you can also leave a comment on that blog post or in this video's comments, and we'll add them to the post. Hopefully, we can get those answers from Lab 599. Now, there were a lot of assumptions about whether or not this radio has a VFO in the comments of the original video. Completely ridiculous. Of course, this radio has a VFO. Uh, it simply doesn't have VFO knobs, the knobs which can be broken off, in extreme operating conditions. The VFO can be manually adjusted up down buttons uh, to manipulate the frequency of the radio. Now in addition to the VFO the radio also has 100 PC programmable memories if you want to use the radio in a channelized way. Hopefully this solves that argument or discussion. Let's move on. Now, another incredibly popular question coming in is, does the TX500 Mic Papa have an internal audio interface accessible over USB-C? Yes and no. Let me explain. So what I mean by yes and no is the TX500 Mic Papa has a breakout box. That breakout box has USB-C, it has a speaker output, it has a mic input, and for those of us who want to operate the TX500 Mic Papa from a backpack, there's a push to talk on the breakout box as well. Now if that wasn't enough guys, the breakout box also includes an embedded audio interface akin to the DigiRig. Now that breakout box has a sort of clip on the back of it which will allow you to connect it to PALS or Mali Web. For those of us who have spent any time in the military, the reasoning behind this is obvious. We want to get those controls up on our chest rig or on our chest somewhere near the front of us where we can easily reach the controls to manipulate the radio. I think there's a couple of reasons behind this layout. Firstly, uh, accessibility. Uh, if your radio is in the backpack, uh, you can't easily reach the radio to manipulate it. You need to stop what you're doing, take off the backpack, remove the radio, deploy the radio uh, in order to uh, manipulate the frequency, the channels, the whatever. You understand what I mean. By providing us with a breakout box, it allows us to get those inputs and outputs, the push to talk and access to the USB port up in front on your chest or on your belt or wherever you uh, deploy it so they're accessible to the other equipment you're trying to integrate with. This is a really good thing. Think search and rescue, think preparedness, think hiking. There's a lot of possibilities, guys. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. I'll update you with any more information that comes around my way as I get it. Keep taking a look at the blog post. Uh, that's where you'll see the information first. I'll update the blog with the uh, DFO and uh, audio interface information uh, as soon as I can, but in the next day or two. With that said, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please leave me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or some place where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Ciao.